Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the ProSlidePacks.com training for the feature boxes in lower thirds, the lower thirds um, edition, sorry. Um, what you're looking at now is one of the thirds, actually this is one of the side thirds, and then we have uh, those that are on the right, and we have one that is on the bottom, we also have one that comes down from the top. Okay, now these are just basic slides, so um, while you're in the slide tab, you can customize this animation and then uh, you can put an image behind the, um, behind the slide, you know, or a video, you know, the vi video slide is there as well. Um, but what most people are, are curious about is how to control and color it. So here are the two um, outline controls. This is for the background itself. But here are the two outline controls that are important. This one controls the body color, as you can see. And this one controls the detail color. So uh, you can also see that you can turn both of those off if you just want to have the text there. So you have that option as well. And then you still get the, the animation that will just swipe out the text you know, and then swipe it back in. But the, the other thing you can do, go in here and change the colors. You can also change the opacity. So you can see that now the main background is, is transparent, but the detail area still is opaque. So you have control over either. So let me just make this something different and then I can drop it down so that it's just real light background and it's just as simple as that uh, of course you know you're changing the text over here in the standard text area like you would normally do so that's a no-brainer you got that down uh, add images video animation uh, and here's in the outline areas are where you change the colors for the third uh, same thing is true over here where the outlines I can turn the background off I can turn the line off so you can color that line that's in between there as well as the background and you can make the line somewhat transparent if you like so these are very easy to configure uh, this one is already has the transparent now remember that if you make the trans the detail area transparent but the background area is not then you won't have see through. So if I make the background solid even though this area here is transparent it is sitting on top of this background. So uh, if the background isn't transparent you're not going to be able to see all the way through. If I make the background transparent but I want this area to be solid I can just increase the opacity and you know so this one is um, pretty much gone this is a tint and but this one is solid so there is some versatility there and uh, you can go in and change the colors or whatever I'm, I'm not uh, good at picking colors I just know how to program but uh, this is how it works for the lower thirds this is um, probably the shortest video ever but uh, you know, there's really not, you know, a whole lot to it. You can do all kind of things with it. Now, there is one thing that I think I probably need to show you. So let's create a new scene. And let's just come up with a sketch image that has a little bit of size to it. So there's that. And I don't want to take up too much time. With it. So let's put this, let's see where I'm going. I'll put the clock up here because I'm going to have the lower third come in from the side. Okay, so then I can go here and add Explanio slide, and then I can get the, the one that, yeah, that one that comes in on that side. Okay, so now you see that it has covered up everything, right? And this is out of order up here, so this needs to go over there. Then the slide. 
Now, can't see any of this stuff. But if you go in here, go to outlines, turn the background off. Now you can see. So what will happen is it'll draw the house. It'll draw the clock. Then this will slide in. Now, if I had a background on the whole thing on this scene, then you'd be able to see that as well. So let's go here and get a picture. You can do this with video as well. I'm just using the picture because it's quick. Okay, so there it is. So now, let me move this to the end. I wanna focus on this for now. And let's run this scene. So you got the house drawing, and then the clock's gonna draw. And then you're gonna have the, uh, the side third slide on out. See there? And slide back. This is how you make uh, the the sketching and the slides work together you just have to make sure that you put the motions in the proper order so that things happen the way you like now if you come over to the um, slide you can make uh, some of this stuff transparent so that's the, um, the main body transparent there since the background is blue let's blue this up a little bit and then the detail area you can fade it down. We can highlight a little bit. And let's see what we got. So we got our house drawing here. Then the clock. And now our side third, I'm gonna call it. It comes right on in there. You need to change the color to text at the top, but other than that, um, the the motion is there, bad color choices, but uh, you get the drift. Anyway, that was the lower thirds part or upper lower side thirds part of the um, feature boxes and lower thirds package hope you enjoyed that have any questions just let me know and i will answer those and also i'm hanging out at the facebook group for explain Dio. so if you come over there you can see a lot of the other stuff i had and uh, if you have any questions get me there because i got got this stuff popping up on my phone minute by minute all right have a good day